Have you ever looked at the stars in the nighttime sky and wonder why there are so many stars out there? And what are the stars made out of? And is there something beyond the stars? The planet that we live on called Earth is part of the solar system. But did you know that there is more beyond our solar system? In fact, the solar system is just a very small part of the Milky Way galaxy. And what is a galaxy, you may be wondering? A galaxy is a huge collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars and their solar systems all held together by gravity. Did you know that our Milky Way galaxy has a super massive black hole in the middle of it? Now, if we go back to looking at the stars in the night sky, we can actually see other stars that are a part of the Milky Way galaxy. And if you are able to get to a really, really dark place where there's no street lamps or lights nearby, you can even see the bands of the Milky Way stretched across in the night sky. But here's the thing, the Milky Way galaxy is not the only galaxy in space. The Hubble Space Telescope even picked up in a matter of 12 days, 10,000 galaxies. But scientists believe there's over a billion galaxies. In a very recent picture made by the James Webb Telescope that has just been releasing its pictures, there was a picture of thousands of galaxies that you can see really clearly and that the size of the picture of this galaxy would be the equivalent of a grain of salt on Earth, meaning we live in a really, really, really big universe and we are just a very, very, very tiny part of it. And what you may or may not know about galaxies is that all galaxies are not the same. There are many different sizes and shapes of these galaxies, even in the Milky Way. Some galaxies have spirals, some look more like pinwheels, and some of them look nothing like the shapes that I've mentioned. The light that we can see from these galaxies are all the stars that are inside of the galaxies. And believe it or not, each galaxy is gonna have over billions and billions and billions of stars. There are a lot of stars in our universe. Most of our galaxies that are made up in the universe are gonna be made up of gas and dust, which is usually the ingredients that you need to make stars. Spiral galaxies are the galaxies that look like the pinwheels in, in, in the midst of all the galaxies. This is where all the younger stars, the much hotter and brighter stars are gonna reside in, they're gonna be living in those spiral galaxies. Our Milky Way is considered a spiral galaxy. Elliptical galaxies are gonna be like stretched out circles or ellipse shaped galaxies. Did you know most older stars are going to be inside of elliptical galaxies? Irregular galaxies are gonna be the galaxies that don't look like a spiral or elliptical or any shaped galaxy. They sort of look like a big blob with lots of gas and dust and young stars. And finally, quasars. They're also known as the compact areas of the center of a galaxy. They give off enormous amounts of energy and they're actually some of the brightest objects in the universe. Thankfully, with all that energy, there's no quasars near the Milky Way. As I mentioned before, stars are usually formed with gas and dust together to make the hot stars that we know. But there are also different types of stars in our solar system, our galaxy. In fact, we usually classify stars into three main categories. We have red stars, yellow stars, and blue stars. The red stars are what make up the most in our Milky Way galaxy. And believe it or not, they are so, so, so small. We are not able to see them without a great telescope. Red stars usually burn at a lower rate which means they are able to last even as long as a trillion years. 
Now yellow stars are a little bit bigger and they burn at a medium hot temperature. One star that is considered a yellow star is a star that we see during the daytime, which would be our sun. Because yellow stars burn at a faster rate than the red stars, they are more likely going to burn out a lot quicker than the red stars, which means one day our sun is going to but not anytime soon, I promise. And finally, we have the blue stars. Your blue stars are actually going to be your biggest, your brightest, and your hottest stars in the universe. And because they're really big and really hot, they're going to burn out the fastest. And usually they last about 10,000 years. And you'll be able to see their explosion sometimes because the stars that you're most likely going to see in the nighttime sky are going to be your blue stars. They are that big and so big that even though they're billions of miles away, we can still easily see them in the nighttime sky. Our universe is so, so huge with so many galaxies and so many stars even in just the Milky Way galaxy alone. And I can't wait to discover more about our universe and our solar system with you. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and let me know what you would like to see next in terms of lesson videos. And I look forward to seeing you next time.